And we're continuing to follow that breaking news this morning. Two Buffalo police officers suspended without pay after they were caught on camera pushing a 75 year old man to the ground following protests in Niagara Square last night. We are joined this morning live by Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown. Mayor, thank you for joining us. I think we have to start by asking. Can you explain to us the two different messages that we got last night? First learning that this protester tripped and fell and then getting another message from your office saying that two officers were suspended without pay. Talk about that discrepancy. How did that happen? It was a very fluid, fast moving situation. Information was coming in uh, to police uh, from different sources, different places. Police were viewing the incident. Uh, from a remote camera and um, got information that was incorrect and reported that information. As additional video came in, uh, the correct information, of course, was reported out. Uh, as soon as Police Commissioner Lockwood uh, saw the video, he immediately suspended the two officers without pay. And Mayor Brown, I think a lot of people are looking at this video and they're shocked by what they're seeing. What insight can you give us as to what happened? Do you know what this man had in his hand? We've heard that people were saying he may have been trying to hand something back to police. Can you give us any insight as to what exactly happened between these officers and this man? Uh, there are uh, different theories. I don't know the answer to that right now. Uh, it's under investigation. Some people theorize that he had a helmet for one of the officers that he was returning. Others uh, believe that he had his own bicycle helmet in his hand. I don't know what the answer is to that. Nevertheless, uh, he should not have been pushed. Uh, that push uh, caused him to fall backwards and strike his head. Uh, fortunately, according to Erie County Medical Center, uh, he is in stable condition and he is expected to make a full cup recovery but his condition is serious you never want to see anything like that when i saw the video uh it was very distressing it was very disappointing uh because officers uh the community uh the peaceful uh demonstrators have worked to communicate uh, to have a dialogue that can produce real change in the community. And when something like this happens, it's a real setback. And we're really seeing outrage growing from this all across the country. Mayor, what comes next for these officers? Would you like to see them be charged here? How, how is this going to happen moving forward? Uh, well, again, uh, this is under investigation. The investigation is moving very quickly and you will be hearing more about that later in the day. Okay, we'll check back in for that. Now, Mayor, we have to ask you too, we do have the same spokesperson here in the city of Buffalo acting as a spokesperson for both the mayor's office and the Buffalo Police Department. Can you talk to me about that? Does that prevent transparency when it comes to these two offices? Uh, I don't believe it prevents transparency. And the information that was reported out uh, was relayed uh, from different places uh, to those that put out the initial information. But we pride ourselves on transparency. Transparency is, is very important, and we've tried to uh, structure things in a way to uh, produce uh, efficiency for the community. Um, Do you think that's something that we might be considering changing moving forward? Do you think you might be looking at potentially putting different people in charge of different departments here? Um, again, uh, we, we could. Uh, one of the things that was considered when that was initially done was financial considerations, uh, trying to be more efficient. Uh, there's never been any complaint about it. Uh, people have been aware of of that structure, uh, you know, certainly we could put an additional two staff people in place, but initially when this structure was created, it was for purposes of financial efficiency and financial savings. And Mayor, I know there is a curfew again in effect tonight for the next few days. 
What concerns do you have moving into the weekend? Do you have concerns moving into the weekend after what happened last night? Uh, I've had concerns all along from the very beginning of this. Uh, what we have seen uh, when peaceful protest activities have ended and people have stayed out uh, at night after peaceful protests have ended, uh, people who are protesting uh, uh, with no direction, with no guidance, with no demand, uh, we have seen violence, we have seen looting, we have seen vandalism, uh, we have seen people in the community placed in a very dangerous situation. The curfew has been implemented to protect people in our community, to protect our residents, to protect peaceful protesters, and to protect the property of small business owners who live in our community who are trying to make a living. Mayor, anything else that you want to say as we end our conversation this morning? What message do you want to get out to the people of Buffalo today? My message is these are very difficult times. These are very tense times. Police officers and others have been literally working around the clock, working with very little sleep. We have worked to listen uh, to protesters, to the social movement, to residents of our community, and position ourselves uh, to respond to demands and requests for specific changes. We will continue to do that. We don't want to see violence of any type in our community, and this is not indicative, indicative of the officers in the Buffalo Police Department or the people in the city of Good Neighbors. All right, Mayor Brown, thank you so much for joining us.